Hey guys, this is Brandon with Atom Studio, and today I'm talking about the AI impact on architecture. Will it steal our jobs? Will it take over our creativity? Will it make better architecture than we ever could? Let's get into it. First of all, I think it's important to look at what different AI, like um, different like chat GPT, looking at different art AI modules have actually done and what is the actual thing that they are doing to the industries in which they grew up. Or even maybe look at self-driving cars and Tesla. What are they doing to the worlds in which they're interrupting? Are they just simply adding like a little, little bit on or a bit on? And the truth is that that's going to be the potential. And now I've also will look at um, different words by different thinkers like Peter Thiel, for, for instance, uh, major investor in Facebook, uh, author of Zero to One, who said that AI is actually going to be a little bit different because there's, there's a difference between just a computer doing everything and a computer and a human, which is augmented. So let's first talk about what AI is actually doing in the industries where it maybe started, right? Maybe the first place you're thinking about um, with uh, AI in impacting is pretty much solving like basic problems, like math, right? Like I had a TI-82 at the Texas Instrument Calculators and I was figuring out solutions and writing a script to do my work or write to do other people's work was like a key part of like the early programming days, you know? Like you're programming, you're like, oh, couldn't I make a computer do some of these things? And then it got into the place where after learning all these design software uh, as an architect, I'm looking at, you know, this AI that's being used for uh, different bigger systems, like, you know, these major conglomerates, uh, you know, like Walmart, then Amazon at the digital boom. It, it's affecting those places, of course. It's helping them do like really automated, doing uh, large scale tasks that are sort of matricular tasks. After the social media revolution, there's obviously a different thing that AI is doing, you know, looking at algorithms that are behind Google and Facebook, helping figure out the next Netflix hit, what people want to watch, big data, that's another level of what AI can do to the point where we're at now, where there's now these open source and publicly available AI modules that people are using that can do things like generate content. Okay, and there's even like, of course, apps that help you now in the architecture world generate plans and generate 3D buildings and even 3D movies, animations, etc. But what is it that architects do to be on par with you know what we do for the human world, what we do in the physical world that is connected to it, right? Because those are a lot of problems being solved at the uh, small level. Those are a lot of different operations being put together and they're using a selection set. For instance, even like um, in the world of chess, in the world of Go, AI has been used to pretty much figure out how to play the game and it's beating people. For instance, Big Blue, right? But the truth is, if architecture was as simple as profession as that, or maybe even as you could say, is as simple as maybe, maybe a graphic artist who does portraits, of course, that AI is going to look like it's competitive. It's even, it could pretty much emulate that person and do similar things. But the systems behind it and the prompt and the complexities that go after the AI is created, for, in, for instance, in terms of quality or understanding and context, those are going to be places where AI will not override in places, you know, even as maybe complex as art, because art is even listed as something that is more about the uniqueness of people. So architecture is both solving lots of problems. We, we create buildings, we build products in the built environment. We work with different systems. We create uh, organizations of order. The architect, sure field, manages and operates between people who are engineers, contractors, specialists, all the way down to people who are putting together the operation of a building. And so the question is, it wouldn't ever be that, just the, the AI coming at the architect. However, you could, you could argue that in terms of the experience and the network, if there was AI at each level working together, that would be different that would definitely introduce complexity. Like in terms of the individual architect, of course, 
it's seeming like there's a point of knowledge that AI could accomplish for solving various design problems that would be challenged, right? You know, like, okay, I'm trying to solve this detail. Boom, AI can figure it out pretty fast from historical record and hey let me put values together let me solve this simple problem however when you start talking about let's add a addition in this space that operates with the character that the client's looking for and will you know deal with sustainability deal with beautiful architecture aesthetic you know that's a level that the ai is pretty much not going to do I, I don't feel it will achieve because I just feel the the way we made it is a little bit complicated right the idea is uh it's it's not even saying that what we do as human is so great but it's saying that the level of organization in our industry uh in civilization is at such a level that AI would not you know like I feel that if you could you could make a sort of AI that would let's spread it to a planet and tell it to start building creating it would not create great cities it will not create um, great um, infrastructure based on AI alone. Like, you know, the idea is it has to achieve a level of civilization, I feel, because civilization is, I feel, the real finger behind architecture. It's not just the individual architect. We're trained by civilization to do certain things that are the capabilities. You know, like if you put a human on a planet by itself, you know, it would take thousands of years before they uh, are really getting to a level. And if they come from an advanced civilization, still the infrastructure to build that would it still take hundreds of years. So AI being very fast with mechanical processes, even in terms of you're creating robots that are creating other robots, it could create something very large scale and very, uh, big and you know conceptual but the idea is that right now and in the foreseeable future I think by itself it would not achieve the same as with augmented which I am seeing as the real place that is actually a plus and a plus versus an AI replacing an architect however you can tell me if that works for you what do you think about it is AI something that you feel would disrupt the architecture industry the art world is even is it is it really hitting you as affecting us you know like are some artists will paint white on white or things that our kid could paint so for ai to replace what our kid could paint a good graphic is like are you, are you sort of seeing the differential like is it really that is that valuable to be disrupted anyway let me know your thoughts this has been brandon with i studio uh, like and subscribe for more content like this thank you bye